Hey everyone, I just had an amazing night fishing for burbot, otherwise known as eel pout and mariah. Although not everyone knows it, but these are amazing table fare, really great to eat, and I'm gonna show you how to clean and fillet them right now. So there's a couple steps to this um, and the tools that you're going to need are a really good filleting knife and a set of pliers. You can use needle nose pliers, but I like something that has a little bit of a wider grip on it. And you're sort of doing this a little bit backwards as to how you would typically clean a fish. We're going to take the skin off first and then remove the meat. So we want to make a few key cuts that we can access the skin with our pliers, grab that skin and peel it off. So I'm going to show you how to make those cuts right now. So what I like to do is start with the back or the top of the fish facing up as if it was swimming. And you can see at the back of the head where it sort of meets the spine. I like to make one cut that kind of goes all the way around the fish, making sure that I'm not puncturing the belly. One all the way around and then two long cuts down the back and just into the tail. And what that's going to do is allow that skin to sort of come off the back from both sides and then it'll peel off the belly. So I'm going to start with this cut the long cut on either side of the spine. And I'm just really puncturing the skin and making sure that I'm following the spine as I go. So now just behind the head, you can sort of feel with your finger where this back strap or loin ends. And I'm just gonna take that cut through there at the back of the head and around the fins and through to the tummy. So now I have all my cuts made. I just want to make sure that they're all cut through and loose. So we have an open segment all around the neck. And all I need to do is loosen a piece of the skin with my pliers and grab onto it. And I'm holding down on the head as I'm doing this. So you can put some pressure down on the head. Another trick is because they don't have teeth in their mouth, you can grab their mouth and pull against the pliers as you pull the skin off and just sort of work your way around on each side. And once you get back to this tail side, it should come off pretty easily and just give one good tug on either side and all of the skin should just peel off both sides and off of the fin. What you should end up with is one full sheet of skin like so. So most of the meat that you're going to get off of a burbot is this nice, thick, really beautiful piece off of the back strap. And their ribs kind of come out really far to the sides and it's a pretty tough bone. So you can see right here, this loin sort of ends where the stomach comes out and you can't cut through those. So we want to take our knife and much like taking the back strap off of a deer, if you're used to that at all, we're just working our knife down until we hit the top of the rib cage and then scooping outward and taking this loin off. We're gonna do that to both sides. And the other chunk of meat that you can get off of a larger burbot, much like this one, is this nice chunk of belly meat here too. So I'll show you how to remove that. So I'm just gonna work my way down on either side of the spine to get these loins out and just let the bones sort of guide your knife along the way. And you can see there, once you get down deep enough, you can see the top of the ribs. And this almost pulls out on its own. You just want to use the knife to guide along the top of those ribs and scoop that out. Okay, so like I said, I've got the back strap section fully loose here. And now I'm right at the end of the belly. I'm going to put my knife in until I hit the spine, flatten it out, and just follow that spine along, much like removing the slab off of a walleye. So that right there is your main chunk of meat. So I'm going to do that to the other side and then we'll get to the belly. So now just to the back of the pectoral fins, I've got the fish facing somewhat belly up here. I'm just going to take this belly meat off. Now the belly meat sort of starts just on the underside of those ribs where we just took the loin off. 
So I'm just gonna take my knife and slip it underneath the belly, making sure not to puncture any of the guts. And I'm just gonna take this whole chunk of belly meat off. Something that you'll notice as well is that when you're cleaning these, they have a massive liver inside and it's really cool looking. It's a beautiful white chunk of liver. This is also very edible. It's a delicacy. It's a really great piece of meat. And this is a very clean and perfect example of what a burbot liver should look like. So I'm just going to finish cleaning, get around to the other side. Here's our final cut from the burbot. And this has a really great texture to it. It's not necessarily one of those pieces that you deep fry, um, coat and deep fry just because it's really thin, but this can be used in a lot of cool ways as well. And it's really tasty, just fried up in butter in the pan. And it has, yeah, it has a really amazing texture to it. So there is the big chunk of belly meat right there. And we'll put that aside with the rest of our meat. So there we have it, the main cuts off of a burbot. One of my personal most favorite freshwater fish to eat. The texture is amazing. We're gonna do some recipes with these in the future that you can wait for. And for more information on how to clean and fillet a burbot, check out the blog post link below.